guys, what's up? It's Steve with Mampa Yoga. Today I'm joined by the lovely Sonella. Hi guys. <laughs> Sonella is a yoga instructor here in Austin, and I think that she, I thought that she would be a great um, addition to my video today. Thank you. Today is going to be focused on shoulders. It's a quick shoulder opener. It's not going to be that long. Take your feet about six inches apart, two fist widths, and then drop your hips down low. Take your arms up, cactus arms. So you're making making 90 degree angles with your arms. Arms are reaching back, opening up your shoulder muscles. Keep your core strong. Your butt drawn under your body, chest lifted, mm -hmm. and then reach your arms up as high as you can, pressing back as far as you can. So really working on your shoulder mobility, and then straightening your arms as you get to the top. And as you can tell from Sonella's labored breathing, it's pretty difficult. And then take it back down. Really make sure that you're <laughs> make sure that you're keeping the weight in your heels. Lift back up, nice and slow. Reach up, bring your hands as high as you can. Touch your fingertips and then bring it back down again. There's two. Elbows still squeezing back, shoulders still opening up. Lift back up as high as you can, as far back as you can. Open up your pecs, open up your biceps, your back, and then bring it back down. Two more, almost there. Squeeze your elbows back, lift up. Nice and slow, slow, constant movement. And then release back down. There's four. Last one, reach all the way up. All the way up, sit your hips down a little bit lower, get a little bit deeper. Fingers touch, hold it, reach back, reach back, reach back, and then release. Take a forward fold, relax your head oh and neck. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Feet six inches apart. Hike your chest up as much as possible on your thighs. So really let your knees bend, press your chest to your thighs, relax your head and neck. And then inhale, come up to a half lift, hands to shins. Chest presses forward, core presses down, and then release your hands down. Step your left foot to the back. Keep your left knee off the ground. Bring your hands on either side of your right foot. Pull your chest forward. Squeeze your feet toward one another. So really getting into your right hamstring here. Dig down through your right heel. Squeeze your left thigh. So you want to make that left leg straight. And then plant your left hand down inside of your right leg. Reach your right hand up as high as you can. Get a nice twist. Keep your knee over your ankle on your front foot. Lift your left hip slightly and roll your right hip slightly. Pull your head forward away from your shoulders. And look up at your right hand. And then try rolling your shoulder back, but still reaching your right hand straight up. Use your core to twist. Reach up a little bit more. Get some length in your chest. And then lower your right hand down. And from here, almost done, extend your hands forward, reach all the way up into a high lunge, dig down through your right heel, reach your tailbone down so your core is strong, bring your belly button toward your spine, press it back, press it back, and then reach back, fingertips reaching back, lift your chest up as high as you can, reach back, keep your core strong, and then relax your hands forward, ease them down either side of your right foot, and then step your right foot back to meet your left foot. Now you're in plank. Shoulders over your hands, inner elbows face forward, and then take your shoulders forward, lowering down halfway. And then knees down, chest down, all the way. Hands behind your back, interlace the fingers, reach your hands off the small of your back, and then lift your chest off the ground, squeeze your thighs, press the tops of your toes in the ground, lift up another inch, and then relax back down. Bring your hands back under your chest, press up the plank, And then from here, bend your knees, look forward, come to the top. Take a forward fold, relax your head and neck. Look behind you, chest on your thighs. Inhale up halfway, hands to shins. Release back down, take a forward fold. And now take your right foot to the back. Straighten your right leg, pull your chest forward using your fingertips. Dig down through your left heel, so you should be able to move your toes. Yeah. Shoulders away from your head so your neck is long. And squeeze your feet toward one another. That's going to activate your inner thighs. And then plant your right hand down. Lift your left hand up. So twist. Bring your left shoulder back a little bit more. Reach your left hand straight up. Lower your left hip and reach your right hip up a little bit higher. Knees still right over the ankle. Looking up at your left hand. Pull your head forward. Create some length in your torso. One more breath here and then release your left hand down. 
Extend your hands forward in front of you. Dig down through your left heel. Reach up all the way to a high lunge. Oh, man. I'm really breaking the sweat from this. <laughs> Feels amazing. And then press your hands back. Get a nice back bend. Lift your sternum up as high as you can. Place it down on top of your shoulder blades. Oh. Lift back length, not bend. And then reach your hands forward. Ease your hands down on either side of your left foot. Step your left foot back. Oh. Bring it into the plank. Lower your upper body down halfway. Shoulders come forward. Knees down, chest down. And then reach your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Reach down. Lift your chest off the ground. Shoulders back. Good. And then release back down. And from here, press up the plank. And then press it back to down dog. All right. First down dog of the day. Make it count. So in down dogs, you got to concentrate on shoulder opening. So biceps face forward, chest reaches back, and really press into the ball mounds of your fingers. So that area between your fingers and your palms to make your chest really open up, really open up your back. Take a couple more breaths here. Reach your chest back even more. Dig down through your hands. Last breath. And then bend your knees. Look forward, come to the top of the mat. Take it forward, fold, relax. Look behind you, come up halfway, hands to shins, chest forward. And then release your hands down, take it forward, fold. And now come up all the way, bring your arms up overhead. Ladies first. Ladies first. I don't know. This gentleman first. Arms up, oh. reach up. Oh. And hands back to center. Okay, and now it's Sonella's turn. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so right here we're going to come into a hip apart, right? And we're going to move into a chair. Nice and slow. As you're coming into a chair, nice and slow, lift your arms all the way up. Right, right here. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Just make sure you're breathing and let's hold here for the next 10 seconds. Focusing on that breath. Relaxing the shoulders. Align yourself to just fully be present in this pose. With your breath. Ah, we just did it in yours. Now we are doing it again. It feels amazing. Three more breaths. This is a very long 10 seconds. I know. <laughs> I always tell everybody it's 10 seconds. It turns into 20 seconds. That's good. That's how you get the results on the end. Last breath. Exhale slowly coming into a nice forward fold. Relaxing your arms, your shoulders, your head. And just focusing on the breath for a moment. Relaxing those shoulders. Breathe. Exhale, and from here, you're going to plant your hands onto your mat, walk your right leg back, left leg back. And from here, guys, we're going to move into a turbo dog push-ups, right? So you're going to slowly move your hips up, right? Your tailbone is going towards the ceiling. From here, you're going to bend your knees. <clears throat> when you bend your knees, bend your elbows too, right here. Your knees are almost touching the mat and your elbows, but they're really not. <laughs> right? This is hard. <laughs> elbows in. Yeah. Yes, elbows in, guys. Shoulders away from the ears, focusing on their breath. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Oh, yes. Going into downward facing dog. Yes, please. Oh. Now let's hold it here for a second. Maybe move your head, saying yes or no. Releasing the tension from the neck. Good. Now from here, let's bring, come in front of our mat. Forward fold. 
Hold it right here a little bit longer. Good. And slowly coming into reverse swan dog, nice and slow, all the way up. Maybe do a little back bend, opening the heart, opening the chest, and come back to the center. Man, this is awesome. <laughs> all right, and from here, guys, let's come sideways to our mat. We're gonna move into a goddess, right? Your feet are coming out that way, right? Place your, right here. Slowly as you come down, your back is nice and straight, spine is tall, tucking the tailbone in a little bit. Your tailbone goes directly down from your pelvis, right? Shoulders are nicely relaxed, tall spine, lift your arms up, right? As you come up, Slowly bring all your body all the way up. Squeeze the glute, push from your heels up and come down. We're going to do 10 of those nice and slow. And up, push, squeeze your back. There you go, good. Squeeze the glutes nice and slow. And this is three all the way up. Nice, breathe. And down, there you go, and four. I see Dan, he's like sweating already, just like me. <laughs> Man. Always sweating. There you go, and up, there it is. Nice and slow, moving with the breath. There you go, and down. Make sure you're trying to get lower every time, mm -hmm. so you're really working into flexibility. And up. Challenge yourself, push yourself. It's the only way to know that you can overcome and up. Breathe, exhale up. Take two more. There you go. Hold it. Squeeze, maybe thrust your hips forward a little bit, squeezing your glutes. Exhale down. Last one. Let's hold it here for 10 seconds. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly place your hands on your hips. Good. Hold it there. And slowly straighten your legs and coming into a nice right legged forward fold. Ah, drop your head, your shoulders, everything. Oh my God, this feels so good. Ah, I just love it. Nice. Slowly come up right here. Now from here, place your left hand straight down from your shoulder. Inhale, nice long spine and twist. Look up towards the ceiling, towards your right hand. And just breathe. Maybe twist, push a little bit further. There you go. Oh. Oh. And slowly place your hand back down. I feel like I'm in a slow motion. <laughs> oh. Perfect. Inhale. Exhale. Let's place the left hand all the way up into a nice twist. Keeping that spine nice and long. It's very important to have the spine stretched and release the tension that we carry it throughout the day. This one also stretches the inner thighs, opens up the hips, and so on. And exhale, slowly bring that hand down. And go ahead, place your hands on your hips. And slowly come up. Yes. All right. Inhale, hands all the way up. Exhale, palms together and bring it to the heart. Good. Your hair's messed up. I know. <laughs> I feel it. It's all over my face. Yeah, everywhere. 
That's We're right. gonna finish off with another shoulder opener, the ultimate shoulder opener, dolphin. Yes. All right, so move down all the way. Just take it straight down. Drop your knees down. Drop your forearms down to the ground, shoulder width distant. Bring your elbows down, really press them into the ground, lift your shoulders up as high as you can. Grab the ground with your fingertips, tuck your toes. Like a cat, meow. Exactly, just like a cat. A very manly cat. <laughs> or a womanly cat. And then, it's okay guys, don't be afraid. Let it go. <laughs> walk your feet in toward your elbows. And then really press down through your forearms. This is really hard for a lot of guys. It's hard for me too. Press your chest back toward your thighs. Lift your hips up. <gasps> dig down through your forearms. Go ahead. Try to keep your back as flat as you can. Lift your hips up. And then again, dig down through your hands. Press up and pull your shoulders back. Get into your shoulders. We're here for 10 more breaths. It's a really good stretch in the hamstrings. Yes. Oh. Good thing we're warm. Yep. Make sure you're doing this, guys, after you warmed up your body. That was breath number four. And your body trembling is just you telling it uh, that you're getting stronger. Two more. Walk your feet in another inch. Get a little bit more challenging. Press up through your arms. Last two breaths here. Shaking right now. I'm shaking and I have sweat in my eyes, so I'm probably gonna start crying. Don't cry. <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna move into an awesome shoulder opener from here. Lay down all the way onto your chest. We're gonna start with the right arm. Take your right elbow out to the side, make a 90 degree angle with your arm, and then roll over onto your right side. Press your right shoulder down, relax your right hand and look over to the left. Press down through your left hand and pull your body over to the left side. Release your upper body, just let it sink down here. Let your right side of your body relax. And then move your arm up two inches. And then reapply pressure, press down through the left hand again. Pull your right shoulder over to the left, relax. I know this will be a great stretch for you guys, especially who lift weights. Really good stretch for the shoulders and the chest too. Oh yeah. And then we'll lock it up two more inches. Oh. And press down again. Pick your body up, move it over to the left one inch, and then press down. Gonna get really deep, really nice stretch there. Last breath. And then roll on to your other side. Bring your right hand back in. If it's tingling, that's normal. Yeah, I feel the tingling. <laughs> <laughs> and then take your left hand out. 90 degree angle with your elbow. And then press into your right side. Press your left shoulder down. Pull your body up, move it over to the right. And really press down through your right hand. You can keep your right foot up just like Snell, do, Snell is doing, or you can take your right foot over your left leg and press down through the ball of your foot, through the sole of your foot, to get a little bit more pressure. And then move your left hand up two inches. Next station. And again, pressing the foot down, pressing the right hand down, picking the body up, moving it over to the right. One inch. Relax your left arm completely. Move it up two more inches. Last station. Press down through your right hand. Pick your body up. Move it over to the right. And again, you can also use your right foot to press down. There you go. Look up maybe. Get a little deeper stretch. And then release back down. Come back to a prone position. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> press back into child's pose. 
Get one last final stretch for your back and make this child's pose active. So try squeezing your hands toward one another, shoulder width distance. You can also try squeezing them away from one another. So both are gonna do different moves for your back. Both feel really good. Try it out, see which one works for you. All right, I'm gonna take it back up. So that was it. That was a, a short shoulder opening flow brought to you by Manful Yoga and Sunella. Um, Sunella has her own YouTube channel. I'm going to put it in the link below if you want to check that out. Otherwise, I of course have this YouTube channel. Make sure you hit subscribe. New videos every now and then. I try to put them up once a week. So sue me if I don't put them up. Um, and then of course the Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Manful Yoga. Also on Instagram. Uh, Sunella was on my Instagram a couple days ago. Yeah, that's right. So we, uh, we had some funny pictures. We'll post some more later. Um, so now, anything else you want to say? Just stay consistent with your practice, guys. That's it, really. Stay consistent, do what you can whenever you get a chance, and uh, make sure you eat healthy, take care of yourself. She's right. If you want to get one body, That's cool. Right. Be consistent. Be consistent. Can't say it enough. Pop, lock, and drop it. My ring's coming off. Pop, lock, and squat it. <laughs>